How long have you been with Sydney? Apart from my other work, I think I've done everything of Sydney's over the past 20 or so years. Eight, nine movies. Can't you use a glass? I thought we'd wind you off that bottle over the years. Bad habit, my boy. My boy, bad habits? Stick around, son. Yeah, I'm gonna change a lot of habits, the better. I've never seen you like this. Have a real drink. It'll calm you down. It's time to celebrate. Time for you to celebrate. Musically, I don't exist here. Gabriel. I've seen all your old ones on video. Many times. That's why I'm here. You were great then. The best. But by the time I came onto the scene, you were beginning to lose it. Lose what, Gabriel? The talent, the gift, the spark of creation. It's been about five years since I came on as your apprentice, and I'm grateful for the early training. But you needed me. And it wasn't long before I was doing most of your scores. The one we're working on now, 75% mine. And this one, the one you won the grand prize for, this one, this one's all mine. To prove it, I have copies of the original and the one I wrote to win you the grand prize. And yet, not one word of acknowledgement? I don't exist here. I'm gonna go to Sidney Ritter. I'm gonna tell him the whole story, and he'll find me work. Yeah, I'm moving on. Not yet. Not yet, Gabriel. I remember it so well. And you're right, it was five years. Freddy. The security guard told me there was a man on the roof conducting my music. Consumed with curiosity, I left the orchestra alone. I watched you. I was very impressed. We talked. You showed me some of your original material. I took you on as my apprentice, remember? But that fairy tale doesn't have a happy ending. Goodbye, Mr. Crawford. Not yet. Not yet, Gabriel. Not yet. I have been remiss. I don't even know if I'll ever be able to forgive myself. But the way I thank you will gladden your heart. Please. You know what this is. The concert. Crawford conducts Crawford, a benefit concert of music and murder from the movies. Themes from The Killer, Alibi, Extinction, etc., etc., etc. Gentlemen, coat and tie. Ladies dressed to kill. I enjoyed writing that last line. Did you? How would you like to conduct your own score from the killer? What, on the roof? No, no. With my orchestra. On the podium, in front of the audience. Your piece will be first after the intermission, and I will introduce you. You're joking. You don't mean that? On the contrary. I mean every word of it. I fully intend calling Sidney Ritter this evening and explaining everything. Well. Perhaps not everything. I've no intention of fully humiliating myself. But I do intend to tell him of your huge talent and to urge him to let you score his next movie on your own. He'll listen to me. What's he you? Bit of a shock, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Coffin, I'm, I'm sorry. Nonsense! You were right. I was completely wrong. And let's dispense with this Mr. Crawford nonsense. From now on, you will call me Findlay. Can we shake on that? Yes, thank you, Mr. Crawford. Finley. Finley. Thank you. Thank you. Finley. <laughs> uh, well, th thank you. I, I have to go uh, climb a mountain. No. Just one more thing.